the Hooded Grave Cemetery. I'll show you why it's called the Hooded Grave Cemetery. So it's not just a clever name. These are, they're actually hooded graves here. Uh, and they date back pretty far into the mid 1800s. If you don't know anything about these graves, it kind of was a thing in Europe and places in the mid 1800s. You hear a lot of talk and theories about the reasons why they were erected. And a lot of it has to do with witches or fear of vampires. There was an interesting quote where they to keep people out of the graves or the people in the graves, things like that. But the most likely reason is almost just as interesting as the folklore and the theories. And that is back in the 1800s, there was a real desire for uh, cadavers, bodies for science and for colleges and things like that. And there was really no legal way of getting them. So there were grave robbers and they would rob the graves and, and get the bodies for universities and doctors. So you might even be asking yourself, why is there only two? Well, there used to be three here. I think in 1931, one was removed just because it was old and rusted and damaged. And there was no need for them anymore at that point. Um, a lot of people theorize and say that um, they were very expensive, so it was really only for wealthy people. In fact, what I read was a lot of times churches would purchase these cages and they would place them over fresh graves for about six weeks or so until that body had had enough time to decompose where it was no longer uh, desirable to these grave robbers. And then they would remove the cage. I don't know exactly how they fit in here. I think they just go deep into the ground. So it would make it very difficult for people to get into the grave, of course. But by the late 1800s, they were no longer needed. Um, so you, there's very few of them. In fact, I believe, I could be wrong, it's happened before. <laughs> I believe that these are the only ones in this country. There are still remnants of them throughout uh, possibly Europe, definitely in Scotland. They're called mort safes and they can be seen in, in some other countries. This is back in a time where demand for bodies was so high. After buildings burned, people would go in and look for the dead bodies to try to sell them. Medical colleges were paying so much money for cadavers to dissect and for doctors to study and kind of like pre-surgery stuff. So they would do the surgery on the bodies before they would do the surgeries on the actual patients. But what's interesting is a lot of these graves in this cemetery are all right around there, 1858. You see a bunch, 1856. So there's a possibility that even these four graves right next to the cage grave could have certainly had a cage over them at one point. Another interesting theory is that um, the family could have been iron workers, so they could have specially designed these themselves. I don't know if, if this was, this one was church owned. I don't even know if these, these may have been restored at some point. I don't know. I mean, they seem in pretty good shape to be from the 1850s, so I don't know. But it's certainly interesting to see. Interesting stories from that time period include a violent riot in Cleveland, I believe in 1852, a mob attacked and burned a medical school building when they found remains of a stolen body inside the school that was being experimented on or dissected. It was very common back then for campuses to uh, illegally obtain bodies and um, obviously that would not make a lot of people very happy. Imagine if your loved one, you found out that the body had been stolen from their grave and ended up at a university somewhere. So these cages certainly could have been some insurance against uh, people robbing 
your loved one's grave. So what fixed the problem of these grave robbings was the Pennsylvania Autonomy Acts, or were the Pennsylvania Autonomy Acts, one in 1867 and one, one in 1882, which gave these doctors and these universities a legal way to get these cadavers and get the bodies. I don't think they used this cemetery much past the 1850s. Maybe this area had a problem with uh, grave robbing. Could be another reason why this cemetery, out of all the cemeteries, used these uh, cages like this. So even though we know the most logical reason for these cages is, or was, to prevent grave robbing, there's still a lot of people that still believe it was witches that they were trying to keep in the ground or vampires. I mean, back in the 1850s, there was a lot of crazy theories going on, a lot of crazy stories. Even now, people choose to believe that. And you know what? Who am I to say? Come to Catawissa, Pennsylvania to find out for yourself. Maybe it is vampire related. Now, having said that, I'm going to go get something to eat now. Maybe, maybe some garlic bread will do me just fine. Thanks for watching.